the curtain on a play I've written just for you. Our scene is set in Sherwood, beside the major oak. The little maid called Marion is kind and simple folk. Cue opening number. Matters right. 
Until then, we've all got to live and share with pain taxes to that nasty sheriff from Nottingham. That, that's right. We won't, we won't be pushed around by King John. We demand justice, don't we? Yes! We demand freedom, don't we? Yes! And when his men come, will we run and hide? Yes! Will, you'd help fight the sheriff and his guards, wouldn't you? Absolutely, Mary. Like my dad always says, you've got to fight fire with fire. Well, that's good advice. Not really, you're the fireman. <laughs> but you're right, Mary. We've got to stand up for ourselves. I'm not scared of the sheriff. Ah, it's the sheriff! Can't you get ointment for that? Silence! His Royal Highness King John needs more money. More money? Yes, so from now on, all taxes are doubled. Doubled? Is there an echo around here? He's also decided to charge everyone with blocked up noses. Yes, it's called the congestion charge. <laughs> Not, Not more, more taxes! Taxes. We pay more than enough already. Window tax, door tax, chimney tax. No, no, you don't have to pay for your chimney. One, no. It's on the house. Ha, 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 ha. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Just the sheriff's little joke. Now pay up. Oh, my God, you'll fall you around and bring your house to the ground. Look here, Sheriff. We've got tenants' rights and we're all revolting. Yes, I've noticed. How can you charge us tax living in these hovels? What are you talking about? We live in a five-star residence. That's how many stars we can see for our roof. <laughs> and you have one in water. Yes, scandals every time it rains. So why don't you just go away before things turn ugly? Big nose. <gasps> oh. Excuse my voice, Sheriff, but she doesn't get him. Have good manners and cast like what I did. Now then, can we get some rules for about the taxes? Absolutely not. I'm inflexible. It must be your trousers, stiff. Excuse me. That's all right. I had a bit of with myself this morning. We shall return at noon. Have the money ready. You don't want to mess with King John and his mighty armies. Well, maybe when you return, we'll have mighty armies of our own waiting for you. Don't make me laugh, girly. The only armies you have are up your sleeves. Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Well, that's it then. We can't raise that sort of money. And we can't pick a fight with those Normans. We're finished here. We might as well start packing right now. Get done. Wait! Come on, everyone! We can't leave them out. I'm sure we can live with something. Oh, that sheriff. I would like to have him wrong cocktail sauce. And that's just the start. Well, remember, look at the sun by the paper wheel. For sale, less salt, slightly smelly. No, I didn't need that. These troubles are getting us down. Troubles getting you down? We need an answer to our problems. We need an answer to your problems? I know what we need. You need a team of highly trained professionals. We need a team of highly trained prof How do you know? Available at any time. And you might look. This is it. If we could hire these soldiers of fortune, we could save our homes. I'll write a letter straight to them. Well, our own army of soldiers, but how will we ever track them down? My little trip of scat scats, they can track anyone. I'll give them a whistle. Scratch, 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 sniff, sniff, sniff. Do you need a helping hand, Brown Owl? We're ready, aren't we, Lumpy? Yes. Here's the letter. Let's hope we can find them in time. Well now, my little twitter. Let's hope they agree to help us. 
Well now, my little Twiglet, it's time to give a helping hand. Track down these heroes, give them a letter, and with a little luck, they'll agree to give us a helping hand too. Skunks of the forest, united we stand, ready to give a helping hand. Mind reading magic. What a show. 
No wonder the merry men of England's finest troop of wandering entertainers. We sing, we dance, we act, we may smashing tights. But woman, we hadn't had a paying audience in mouth. Not since King John closed all the bitters. All our bookings have dried up. You know what our audience was last night. Six girls, two moles and a badger called Derek. We miss it, Robin. The roar of the grease paint, the smell of the crown. The door of the fans. Breakfast applauses. Sausages. <laughs> Which is why I put an advert in the paper. Look, for sale, left sock, slight smelling. <laughs> no, underneath that, our lock's going to change. I can feel it in my tights. Why, our big break could be just around the corner. smelling admirers? Not really. We had to give you this letter. It's from Maid Mary of Sherwood. <coughs> what does it say, Robin? Saw your advert. Just what we're looking for. In need of your talents. Important visitors coming at noon. Give them a welcome they'll never forget. We're just what they're looking for. They're in need of our talents. We have a meeting, boys. Well, my fragrant friends, return forthwith to thy mistress, Maid Marie, and tell her that Robin Hood and his men shall not forsake her, for at noon it will be showtime in Sherwood. It's time to play the music. It's time to light the lights. It's time to meet the marvellous Maid Men in time. Your Majesty. Hurry up, it's an emergency. I'm 
I'm here, Your Majesty. What is it? A disaster, Nottingham. A catastrophe. Is it war, sire? An invasion? Are we under attack? What? I can't get the top of my boiled egg. But, Your Majesty. No buts. I'll sort it out before I starve to death. God! Well, just remember in future I must have a boiled egg, so we sold it. Now, where have you been, Nottingham? I've been calling you for hours. We've been collecting taxes in Sherwood. Sherwood, eh? Nasty bunch of peasants out there. Rough, tough villains, I hear. Oh, yes, sire. Nasty. Rough, tough. Sherwood villages are certainly unique. <laughs> Postcard, sire. That would cheer you up. Who's it from? Dear John, having a lovely crusade here in Jerusalem. Weather's nice. Wish you were here. Love, Dickie. <laughs> Richard! He's still in life! Unfortunately, irritating goody goody. Everybody loves him. They, they do. don't! They do. They like him better than me. They, they don't. don't! They do! Look here in the paper. For sale. Left socks, slightly smelly. No, on the other side. Why is King John like a tape measure with no numbers? Because he's a useless ruler. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. I'm running out of money. People think I'm useless and I'm homesick. But sire, you're home. I know, and I'm sick of it. Well, I know what would cheer you up, sire. A little bit of torture. Stop in the dungeon, master! Summon the dungeon master. Summon the dungeon master. Summon. Summon the dungeon master. Hi guys, my name's Gavin, and I'm your head dungeon master and torture consultant. And may I introduce my glamorous assistant, Gengus? <laughs> Together we like to think of ourselves as the team that make them scream. Gengus, what did I say about personal space and come here? Sorry, master. And where are the torture victims? Not victims, sire. We like to call them our special guests. It gives the place a family feel, doesn't it, Gengus? Yes, master. A family feel? Oh, yes, sire. <coughs> torture runs in the family, doesn't it, Gengus? Your father loved working in the dungeon, didn't he? Yes. Master, it gave him a warm and glowing feeling inside. Gingus, be the love in bringing our guests, please. Yes, Master. I think I'll have a little, I think I'll have a little chat with our guests before we begin. But Your Majesty. No buts. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Governor. I'm Grabber. And I'm Bolt. We're robbers. We nick things. What, both of you? Yes, we're a pair of knickers. Ah. Ah. And what exactly were you arrested for? We stole a calendar. A calendar? Yes, we got six months each. Ah. Don't you know who I am? Why, have you forgotten? It's probably written on the label in your pants. Have a look. What a numbskull. He doesn't even recognise King John the Idiot. That's it. You're King John the Idiot. I beg your pardon? We've seen you on all the stamps. And may I say much better looking than that lion heart bloke. Oh really? Do you think so? Yes. Yeah, you're more sort of regal as an eagle. You're right, I'm regal as an eagle. Strong as an ox, sly as a fox. Fast as a brush. Don't worry, sire. After they've been tortured, they'll flog them in the market square. You can't flog us. No one would buy us. Begin the torture! the torture. What? 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 I like these two. They said I was regal as an eagle. They obviously have a taste in intelligence. We do? We do. But your majesty... No buts. Release them at once. I'm issuing a royal pardon. A royal pardon? We haven't even heard you do a royal bar. <laughs> Nottingham, these two can be your new henchmen. 
But your majesty... No buts, for once I found subjects who actually like me. It's true, I like you. And me. And me. Gengus! <laughs> Very well, sire. Come along, you two. It's almost noon. We've got a day with destiny. It's time to ride... Two showers! <laughs> Frenchman, 
Henchmen, my new dude deputies. Now, have you got the money ready? Or it's time to bring the house to the ground.
Back up in the castle, King John is unaware of trouble back in Sherwood that gave his men a scare. Instead, he's in a meeting. There's torture to arrange with Gavin of the dungeon and Genghis, who's just strange. <laughs> Cue the weirdos. So, Gavin, tell me more about your exciting new plans for the dungeon. We thought we could have theme nights. It would be lovely. Lovely. Theme nights? Yes, tickling Tuesdays and Wedgie Wednesdays. And we have a new piece of torturing equipment. We're very excited, aren't we, Gangus? I'm excited. It's, co- it's called the Squisher. It rolls out our guests until they're completely flat. But unfortunately, we have no one to test it on. But we've tested it on your royal underpants. It's squished them beautifully, hasn't it, Gangus? Yes, Master. And Gangus? Yes, Master. Personal space! <laughs> Ah! ah! You're back. What about my back? Back from Sherwood. Yes, it's up the street. We took a shortcut. <laughs> and where are the guards? Ah! And where is Nottingham? Ah! Will someone please explain what's going on? Sire, I have run all the way from Sherwood. It has been a perilous journey, but I did not falter. I encountered terrible wind, but I followed through. I was buried alive in steaming manure, but I was undeterred. Get on with it. We went to collect your taxes. But those villagers had a gang of hoodies to protect them. We had to run all the way back here by foot. What about my taxes? No, we couldn't afford a minicab. I need my money. Where is it? There is no money, sire. They'll never pay another bean, sire. Not while they're protected by the dam. And the leader, what was his name again? Robin Hood. Robin Hood? Then he must be stopped. Nottingham, get back to Sherwood and sort him out. But your majesty. No buts. Get me Robin Hood, get me his gang, get me my money and get me a cup of tea. Milk, two sugars. In what order? Honestly, Nottingham. Milk first, tea next, sugar last. Oh, Dad, it's kind of like his spot, so we're going down to the dungeon. Gabby, it looks like we can test your squisher after all. But, Sire! No buts now, Mark. Right, you numbskulls. To beat those outlaws, we must gather more information. We can't operate without intelligence. We manage all right. <laughs> you two will have to be spies. Go deep into Sherwood first and listen out for anything suspicious. I'm a good listener, Sheriff. I'm... You must get, get up first thing in the morning. Get up before dawn. Right. What time does dawn get up? Early. You must go deep into Sherwood first and listen up for anything suspicious. I'm a good listener, Chef. I've got a cute hearing. And I've got a cute smile. <laughs> good. You must capture Robin Hood or else. Who's else? I mean, if you don't capture Robin Hood, I'll cut off your head. If you cut my head off, I'll never talk to you again. And um, when you've captured Robin Hood, I want you to take him out. What? You mean on a date? We hardly know him. No! I mean kill him! Ah. We will meet at the Crooked Old Tree at sunset. Don't let me down. Bobo, if you're ready, let's go. If I'm ready, if I'm ready, I'm ready for anything, mate. In fact, I was born ready. No, no, I was ready before I was even born. Well, I've gone. Hey, I wasn't ready.
Robin and his merry men bringing the show with hoodies. It's time to play a different role, that of heroic goodies. May Marion will teach them well, of that you can be sure, rehearsing robbing from the rich and giving to the poor. Just some gases, 
landscaping. Well, you need to hurry up and catch the robin hood. Are you tough enough? Tough? My dad was a boxer. And mine was an Alsatian. <laughs> you two remind me of this forest. Mysterious. No, dense. I'm letting you borrow my kidnapping kit. It's a blanket and a gold-plated bonker. A gold-plated bonker? Very nice. But how will we catch him first? You could lay your net over a hole. But she might fall in. Who? A net. And where are we going to find him? He's devious. He could be hiding anywhere. He may even be in disguise. Not the sky, this guy's. Whatever you do, make sure you capture Robin Hood. After all, you are the show of spies, and the show of spies are tough and hard. Did you hear that? The show of spies are tough and hard. Mm. He must be leaving them in the oven too long. <laughs> Not anymore. 
He's always wondering what. What that? It's a finger. No, it's grey tracks on the floor. What do you make of them, Skull? From the shape of them, it looks like Marion has been knocked unconscious by a gold-plated bonker and was dragged off by two stupid spies in the direction of Nottingham Castle. Nottingham Castle! Oh, my poor little dog did whatever shall we do? We have to go and rescue her. Right now. Come on, you lot. Robin, have you forgotten we're just entertainers? And we're just scum. And we're just villagers. That doesn't matter. We've learnt that we can be whatever we want to be. And tonight we need to become a crack commando unit. Robin's right. I may be a patty or bad, but tonight I'm going commando! If we all work together, we can do anything. We can be anyone!
have a surprise for you. That's right, you travesty. Maybe then Robin Hood. So this is Robin Hood. He's a bit, well, girly. That's because this is a girl. You numbskulls have captured the wrong person. You certainly have. I made Mary, and when Robin Hood finds out I'm here, he has to come straight here and then... And then we'll have him right where we want him. You can't defeat him. My reliant Robin can do anything. Except go around corners at high speed. <laughs> the show is right. With you as bait, Robin Hood will fall right into our trap. And then he'll get his just desserts. Nottingham, there's no time for pudding. We must prepare to fight. Well, we loved our fight, but we can't with our problem. What problem? We, we cowards. cowards! You'll do as you're told. You lot spread out and keep watch for Robin and his hoodies. Gavin, Genghis, take Mary into the dungeon. But no buts now, go! Don't succeed. This guy's having built for you. 
But we have to give up. There's nothing else we can do. Yes, there is. We can see. A community cinema, the perfect warm-up for a night of torture, isn't it, Gaylord? Yes, Master. It doesn't matter how trapped you're learning to the music is the answer. He's right, that's why us merry men are always so. Merry! A happy tune is all you need, and soon others will hear it and join in. And before long, they'll be singing your song all over the world. <laughs> on your 
neck. What grows? Your head. God cut it off. <coughs> but. No but. We can't cut his head off. Then I've got any scissors. Absolutely useless. Well, I can't do it. I'm the king. You do it. I can't do it. I'm a vegetarian. You do it. <laughs> I can't do it. I've got a Veruca. Oh, for goodness sake. If you won't do it, I'll do it. Silly outlaw. You can't chop your own head off. If no one else will, I will. Squisher, master. The squisher? Perfect. You and the chef can be flat mates. <laughs> and that's for you two. Oh, please spare them, sir. They help save the day. Perhaps they could work for us. Washing costumes. Yes, they can scrub, scrub our tights. And wash our tight habits. I've got a lot of dirty habits. And that's for you, Maid Marion. And the shower and hoodies. I owe you Victoria Cross, King Cross, and all the stations to Shepherd's Book. Hooray! And finally, for the best actor in the performance of a lifetime, the award goes to Robin Hood. by show-stopping goodies of Robin and the Sherwood Hoodies. What a great name for a musical. I wonder who will play me. 